Kimberly, it's a pleasure to meet you and speak with you, especially because what you're part of, and you can only sort of see your so had a part of your head here, <laughs> but you are part of a traditional production that happens every year here in Toronto, which is amazing. And it happens around this time of the year, celebrating the holiday season. And of course, the person who puts this all together is an amazing uh, individual who is a staple point in Canadian entertainment. Folks are wondering, what's going on behind me? What are we talking about? What is the show called that you are part of, please? I'm part of the new Ross Petty Panto this year called Alice in Winterland. It, you know, I, I love the fact that, the, with, with you know, here's the best way to put it. For folks who don't know who Ross Petty is, just explain exactly who he is and why his productions are so amazing. Definitely family fun. So Ross Petty is a wonderful man who puts on, um, if anyone out there doesn't know what a pantomime is, a pantomime is a type of theater show that's very interactive, mostly geared towards kids, which is really awesome. And Ross puts it up at the Elgin Winter Garden Theater right downtown in Toronto every single year. Um, it's usually a play on a classic story, um, usually like a fairy tale story um, where there's a heroine and her friends that go along with her throughout this journey. And it's completely original every year. Um, different companies from different parts of the world put on pantos, but Ross's is pretty special. It's, it's very well known. And um, yeah, you get to uh, get like a very contemporary take on the story, which is really cool, especially for kids. Now they get to see the stories that they grew up reading or watching and they get to see it in like, well, this year it's a 2021 version of Alice in Wonderland. And the cool thing is, because when I say family fun, there are a lot of jokes for the kids. There are jokes for the adults. Yeah. And the thing is, and people should realize this, not every show is the same. Yes, we have the same storyline and things like that. But because, as you said, the interactiveness, anything can happen in a show. Yeah, exactly. And we are mostly comedic actors, um, usually in the panto, that's who Ross hires. And so we like to play off of each other. And if something happens, we know how to riff off of each other and just keep going. So it's really fun for the kids. And we don't know when it's um, in person, we don't know what's gonna happen in the audience. We don't know what they're gonna yell at us or what they're gonna do. So it's always a really fun time. And the thing I used to love about Ross when he was actually in the plays is because he always played the baddie. And yeah. we always got a chance to boo him. And he yeah. he he craved the booing. The booing to yeah. me is the most fun because you never get to do that anywhere else except in this kind of a production. Absolutely. And this year, uh, our villain is um, Sarah Jean Hosey, who's a dear friend of mine. I've worked with a lot. And um, yeah, she's definitely taking that role on. Um, full confidence, full everything. It's so fun to have an opposite character to say Plum Bum or me, um, who's playing Allie or Alice in this. Um, and yeah, the more booing, the better for her. It's almost yeah. like energizing. Just, it's like, yeah. yeah. Right there. And that's the thing. <laughs> People should realize too, it's not a bad thing to boo. That She's the one. She wants you it's to boo. It's on the other side. Oh, the other side. Wait a minute. There you go. Well, yeah. hold on. Who's Plum this? That's oh, Plum Bum. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> So recognize the outfit. Boo, boo, yeah, yay, yeah, yeah. yay. Okay, we've got it. Making sure we got everybody connected. Perfect. I love yeah. that. Thank you for correcting me on that. So let's talk okay. about what the actual story is about because it is a take on Alice in Wonderland. And I'm curious too, because I've seen other productions where um, not only do does the show take on maybe like a Toronto feel, Canadian mm -hmm. feel, and whatever is going on in the news. So that's another thing that can maybe change things up in the show. Totally. Um, this year, uh, it's a really beautiful story, which is kind of what drew me towards doing it, is that it's mostly following Alice and her journey of finding herself. So I think with everything that's gone on, um, what really drew me was that I've had to really sit with myself find myself, find my journey. So I really wanted to make her earnest, authentic, really real, someone that, you know, I didn't see growing up 
when I read these stories and watched these shows. Um, so I thought that was really awesome. And it follows her. Um, so Alice in Wonderland already happened. So that was her when she was younger. And now it's me now in my 20s coming back because Wonderland's in trouble. And I have run away from that past as Alice. And I have now come into this personality as Allie. And so I won't even call myself Alice throughout it um, because I'm so, I'm struggling with that past of what Alice had to go through. And I'm getting rooted on by, you know, my friends in the show, which the kids will see and they get to choose who I meet and where I go to try and find myself. And ex the whole point is to accept your past and be true to yourself now, but not forgetting who you were. That's amazing. A lot yeah. of people have been doing that these, especially these last two years, because oh, a lot of things goodness. have been. Re Sorry, I didn't interrupt you. Yeah, go. Do you, do you want to say no, to that? No, totally. That's exactly it. It's exactly, even though it's all fun and um, you know we're cracking jokes, and it is. You're right. Like we've got lots of political jokes in there, a jokes for lots of the parents so that they can enjoy it too. But with all of that the heart of it is really connecting all of us and i think i guess a lot of the adults will feel this through the show is um what we've been through the last couple of years i mean alice i wanted to again like i said make her authentic and i do that by you know using what i went through these past two years which is not ignoring what's gone on and pretending like it didn't happen but taking it and then try to sit with yourself and find out who you are i think it's an ongoing adventure which is really cool um and i think you know we represent that in the story it's not like okay we did it and that's it it's just like using the love and the people around you to help you on the journey part of the journey to great effects i love the effects and costumes yeah no it's totally like a video game which is awesome which we, you can never do in the theater so it was so exciting to like just have this magical world. Tracy is brilliant and everyone that worked on it might fly. Everyone that worked in the 2D studio, we went to like this awesome 2D green screen studio and everything you wish you could have in a like no budget production got to happen in this because they just created this world for us and it'll really feel like a video game almost for the kids which i'm but, really excited about and that's the thing we should say because usually we see this live and because mm -hmm. of everything that's been going on for the last uh two years not happening this year so can we talk a little bit about how do we see this great production yeah i think it was a really smart way of doing it i would have never thought to have done it like this but what audiences can look forward to is um, still getting the chance to kind of lead us on the way. Um, it's not live, but to make up for that, the kids will have options of where I get to go. So we filmed a bunch of different endings. We filmed a, yeah, it was crazy. And we filmed a bunch of um, different characters that I got to meet. And depending on which um, road they decide for Alice to go on, they'll meet certain characters and they won't meet certain characters and my fate is in their hands but they don't know i can only i help them along we do break the fourth wall still which was really good and kept, um keeps with the whole uh panto mentality so i do talk the kids through it but ultimately it's their choice so they'll get options at the bottom of their screens again brilliant production and they get to click on which option i go through so I could have a happy ending. I could have a terrible ending, depending on which way they choose. <laughs> so here's the thing. you And I said this before, but you know, what I was talking before was like if it was the live show, but we're going to talk about this. We can watch this show, okay? Yep. And, you know, click, 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 click. It's over. Yay! Well, wait a minute. What if she went and did this? Let's watch it again. Absolutely. Click, click this one. Uh-oh, something else is happening. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do it again. Yeah. I love this idea. Talk I about know. a show that never gets boring. It's great. No. I love it. And they get like multiple shows. They can sit there. And also another like gift that we wanted to give them was that even though they're at home, it's it, it it's so fun for them because it's not one journey. They get to sit there if they're if they have brothers and sisters, if they have other friends with them, they get to, you know pick and choose it's so interactive and they get i don't know how many shows they can watch if they keep going back and choosing different routes 
right? So I hope that all the kids uh, go back and watch all the, because every character is kooky, unique, hilarious. And if they miss one of those characters, I would feel bad. <laughs> oh, I cannot. So cool. I cannot wait for this. This is amazing. Uh, this is uh, kicking off on the 17th of December, I do believe. Yes. I love it. And website, do we go for this? Or where do we go to get all our information? Ross Petty. Go to the same website they would to get the tickets. And it's all right there for you. You can read our bios. Uh, there are probably some interviews on there, too. And, yeah, just have a good time. And just reminding folks, okay, yay. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. Yay! Boo! Got that right? Got that right. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for this interview. I Thank love you. this idea. What a way to have fun during the holiday season for the whole family, bringing them all together. And, you know, crossing fingers next year that we will actually be in an audience to see this. But even though we can't this year, this is still a fun way to bring the family together. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. Happy holidays.